It's not about buying expensive toys, providing academic activities starting in infancy, or sending your child to a costly school. Quite the reverse. Raising intelligent kids is all about taking good care of yourself and slowing down so you can be a loving and present parent. Hi there and welcome. Raising intelligent individuals does not only refer to kids with high academic intelligence. Instead, raising intelligent children is about raising children who value integrity, have initiative, are enthusiastic, have a good sense of humor, appreciate gaining knowledge, are wise, seek understanding, are confident, and are poised. None of these require a high academic IQ. You can start raising your child intelligently from birth, but it's never too late to introduce new ways of thinking and behavior to your older children or even to yourself. As an educator and life coach, I've been addressing questions relating to parenting using some simple ideas about raising children for 32 years. Through the years, I discovered intelligence doesn't matter that much. People everywhere and in every situation appreciate interacting with curious, well-mannered, enthusiastic and responsible individuals. In addition, the ability to form solid, meaningful relationships is a skill that serves individuals of all ages. Here are my top five tips for raising intelligent children. Tip number five. Listen with the intent to get to know your child. As you choose to slow down for the sake of your child's development, you will have the time and energy to answer your child's questions truthfully and adequately. Please pay attention to their specific individual curiosities and provide access to more information related to their interests. Also, actively address their fears. Don't ever laugh it off. Tip number four. Use role play to teach valuable life lessons. Playing is essential to your child's development and the time you spend playing with them is as valuable as formal academic learning. Unfortunately, we often send our child off to play by themselves so we can have a pause, which is acceptable. But watch yourself. Please don't send them off to always play by themselves and ultimately neglect your duty to play with them. Tip number three, develop all your child's senses. From birth onward, create opportunities for your child to hear, see, taste, smell and touch the world around them. Yes, even introducing weird tasting food will turn your child into a brave individual. Tip number two, show and teach them how to manage their emotions. Emotional intelligence, such as self-control, persistence and perseverance, are essential skills your child must master to thrive and skip through life. Sadly, emotional intelligence is not a skill children are born with. Therefore, it's a skill your child must develop from an early age. The ability to persevere, persist and control themselves are skills many adults haven't mastered. 
and the lack thereof directly impacts their ability to grow their income and reach their goals. Not having these skills also creates a, a poor self-image and low confidence levels in individuals. And please note, people of all ages can develop these skills. That is exactly what I help people do. And number one, my top tip for raising intelligent individuals, encourage your child to use their imagination. Our imagination is the workshop of life. Avoid giving your child too many lifelike toys. A pot, an empty box and a broomstick were enough to raise children a few decades ago. Modern toys are beneficial to play with for sure. Only be sure to prioritize their play with items that require tapping into their creativity. Is it too late to start nurturing your child's intelligence when they are 12 or 15 years old? Not at all. I work with adults even in their 50s and 60s who desire to reprogram their minds and form new neuro pathways so they can quit habits that don't serve them while creating new ways of thinking so that they can break through income plateaus or expand their businesses. Research has shown that the brain can change and develop throughout our lifespan through neuroplasticity. Therefore, you can train your children up in the way they should go and upgrade your skills and habits in the process. That is precisely what I assist people to do. In conclusion, good old old-fashioned parenting goes miles in raising responsible, confident individuals who know who they are, know where they desire to go, and have a solid plan to get there. I'm Alta Nell. Blessings to you all.